Lesson 21, Artists of the Minnesota Frontier Frank Blackwell Mayer The novel Seating Contempt centers around a young artist from Baltimore named Frank Blackwell Mayer. Mayer studied art as a boy and was inspired by his teacher, Alfred Jacob Miller, who had been a member of an exploring expedition to the Rocky Mountains. When Mayer learned about the proposed treaties in Minnesota in 1851, he immediately traveled to Washington, D.C. to apply for a position with the expedition. Mayer was not appointed a position, so instead he decided to fund his own trip. Traveling to Minnesota in June of 1851, Mayer sought to capture images of the fleeting frontier, its landscape, and its native population. In doing so, he wished to create an original American work of art that would be the crowning effort of his life. George Catlin Artist George Catlin arrived in Minnesota in 1835 in order to record on canvas the faces and homes of indigenous populations before they were overrun by what he called the splendid juggernaut rolling on. Although settlement in the Northwest Territory was not open at that time, Catlin recognized that it would not be long before the region's native population was forced aside and the beautiful landscape forever altered. Through his artistic expressions, Catlin sought to memorialize the frontier before it was gone. This he may have accomplished, but his work fueled the forces marching west by settlers and tourists who were inspired by the beauty and nostalgia of the frontier. Seth Eastman Artist and military commander Seth Eastman studied sketching and topography at the West Point Military Academy. In 1830, he was assigned to Fort Snelling when he first began making sketches of the Minnesota frontier. Eastman returned to Minnesota in 1841 as a military commander at Fort Snelling and remained there until 1848. During this time, Eastman began recording the everyday way of life of the Dakota and Ojibwe people. He also illustrated his wife's books who, through her work, sought to preserve the local tales and legends of indigenous cultures.